Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play! Hearts of Iron 4, Pax Titanic, Cousin, Sack, Continental, and Army, let us continue on from where we last left off. Might as well put all of you on this front, that seems fine by me. Again, the problem is I technically don't border any of you, like I know that sounds a little bit strange. I, the the borders I border is technically the Republic of Colorado. Okay, Iberia's been killed off. We'll court you next. Thank you. We got the King of Iberia. And now we got the King of Italy. Like, it looks really, really good for France, right? Like, they they have, uh... They got Germany. You know, Russia's got their faction here looking good as well. They got Scandinavia. Like, the Pac Revanche... It looks... I don't know, actually, how else would you say it? It, lo it looks fantastic. It looks really, really good. And somehow the British are meant to win that war on their own. I don't see that happening. So, you know, praise be to our new French overlords. Okay, we can actually trade a little bit less with you. And actually, we don't need to trade with you at all. So how many days are we on this? We're at 139... Colorado's probably going to kill the Assange Nation. I mean, this is kind of a mess. Really, really, really is a big old mess. Okay, let's core uh, Santa Ana. We have full employment, give me more factories. Main the SEA is two more factories and more output as well. I mean, the research people is 10% is not bad. But it's it's just like not that. Look, like we're just fucking. We have a hundred thousand rifles, man. Give me more tanks. Give me more tanks. Give me more artillery pieces. Get. We need way less rifles. Oh my planes! My planes! Okay. Fighter weapons. Did I not build um? Did I finish researching cannons? Or did I, did I actually not research the cannons? Anyway, we'll put these guys on you. Electronics, radio navigation, you were five. Okay, if I take... You cost two, cost one to replace, four. What about like six guns? Six guns, a basic engine costs four. And then... Uh, industry, we want to get ourselves a... Improve small airframe. Put in our bomb locks here. And then throw on our radio navigation. Cost five, which is exactly how much we need. So we got our CAS. And we've got ourselves our improved small airframes. So let's get these guys up here a little bit. We'll go four and four. Take half off of you. Take this off of the tanks as well. I think this looks good. We're, we're going to get some planes. Not a ton of them. But a decent number. Give me more arms factories here in our newly acquired territories as well. Like 78 factories for our little uh, for our little country. I I would say that's pretty god dang good. I think that's pretty gosh darn god darn it. It's pretty nice. <laughs> but I'm I'm happy with where we're at. I'm happy with where we're at. You're gonna cord soon. You're gonna give me an extra two factories. Now we don't need air experience, but that's okay. 37, 56, 22, 69. All this is looking great. What are you guys? State of Kelly, Dixie Republic. Again, I technically don't border any of them. I technically border Colorado. Which is a little annoying because they're like the least... I mean, I, if you can kill Kelly, kill Kelly, then kill Colorado, and then I just fight the fight the Dixie Republic... I don't know how many troops they have, but I'm going to assume that it's basically zero. And then we just have to deal with the Free State Alliance or the Commonwealth of, uh, and the Commonwealth of America. It's all, it's all looking, I would say, bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> what the hell does that mean? I don't know. But I'm, I'm happy to have it regardless. If Acadia here, which is your capital, I think they did lose their old capital of Kelly. They did. So if they can kill Kelly, and then move their way into Colorado, kill Colorado, or actually, here here's the best case scenario for us. 
If Colorado kills the Osage Nation, and then the Dixie kill Kelly in Colorado, I've got to imagine that's the uh, that's where we want to be. Actually, what I also want to do is we want to build ourselves a new uh, airbase like here. Yeah, it doesn't need to be a big airbase. We're not going to be building like a billion aircraft. We'll have maybe 200 if we're if we're lucky. But that's going to be more than all of our opponents put together, and that's what we want to see. Okay, we will hide from the giant again. How we're still hiding from the American Commonwealth, I have no goddamn clue. But apparently we are. Armor speed is gain, resistance growth, division speed goes up, reconnaissance goes up, recovery rate. I'm gonna say I'm gonna ignore all of you for the time being. Medical survival kits. Do um Okay, we actually don't have paratroopers in this mod. That's fine. Auto mechs. I mean, we're not really doing anything with the auto mechs, so we're not going to worry about it right yet. And for our militia. Again, the militia, they're not... They're still, like, actually, like, not that good. Like, what if we were to do infantry and then artillery like this? 15 combat with. Which I believe... I have, I have a thing pulled up here. This is what they would... What was what this listed under? Yes, this six, uh, six and one. It, it's it's in this uh, little article I found. Do you have artillery for this? Absolutely not. What if I remove the support artillery? Almost, but not quite. Okay. Well, let's let's do it like this way first. Or maybe you know what? We have so many guns. We have so much guns, so many manpower. We probably should get up to uh, nine infantry. We should have enough guns for you. We have enough, uh, yeah, this actually be, let's, boom, done. Get our units to be as good as they possibly can be. Made in the CSA. We love to see it. I think we want to extract from the earth next. Because what we want to do, at least according to this, is probably have like an artillery piece in here. Or... Anti-tank, powerful on the offense. Yeah, I, th I think what we've seen, what we're doing now is fine. Do we actually question? Do we actually have any? Um, are we making? We're not. We're not making support equipment. Not that it's like super important quite yet, but I think it will be important at some point in the future. What about you guys? You're only six combat with. Let's make you into. Uh, what about like just a basic ten? Sounds good. Get you guys going as well. And for armor divisions, your 12 combat width, we could make you into like a 15 or 14. What about like a 16? Just by throwing more infantry in here. Sounds fine to me. This will get fixed up. Essentially instantaneously. Yeah, no, this is looking golden. I'm happy to have this. Now, we can't deploy these units quite yet. As much as I would love to. I mean, actually, we probably could deploy the tanks. And how is this doing? We could declare war. But I think the Republic of Colorado is going to collapse. I think I just want to wait until um, Dixie basically controls everything. And then we just declare war on the Dixie Republic. That, that has to be the right play. I mean, it looks like a complete mess. Hey, poverty's gone down. So, I mean, again, if Cal this is exactly what we want. Colorado's killed you. But then if you take Empire City, that should kill off Colorado. This is, this is actually all looking beautiful. This is exactly what I wanted to see. Uh, industry, yes. Our new tanks, we want to upgrade you to be the advanced light tanks. We'll go with improve small cannon, give me the radio, give me um, wet ammunition storage. We'll go two and two on this, at least for right now. Reliability at 124. 133. Well, I want to bring that down a little bit. We can. Armor goes up. Smoke launchers. 
What if we put you into a three-man turret? Let's replace you now with Land Land Ship 3. Fantastic. And we're very, 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 very slowly building up our um, Air Force. Very, very, very slowly. Technically, apparently I don't border either of you. I don't know how that's the case, but that's okay. But it's going to be me against the Dixie Republic. And I'm, I'm more than ready for this. I am I am prepared for absolute conflict. Blue army move, moving towards the south. Red army is going to be moving up towards the north. Do you want to take any of you? You know what? Give me some steel. And you know what? Taint West will take you as well. Give me Taint West 3. Consumer goods will go down. That's always nice to see. We'll hide from the giant once they take Arcadia. Ned Kelly. We hardly knew ye. So I guess now we'll do the seven deadly sins. I have no idea exactly how this will work. I'm hoping nothing bad will happen to us. Why do I think nothing bad is going to happen? I have no reason to believe that whatsoever. I'm just going to cross my fingers and hope for the best. Are you going to take Arcadia? The city of Arcadia, which is not is different than the country of Arcadia down here. Because until you do, I actually I cannot declare war. So I'm kind of I'm kind of waiting for you to get that done. Okay, it does look like the free states will end up losing their war. Which I think is good for us. Pride, envy, wrath, sloth, greed, gluttony, lust. Well. Embrace the degeneracy tier five. Our tier is currently five. Convince the masses, decrease degeneracy. Absolute abolish sin, energy tears at one. Okay. Opium, alcohol, and other vices. Capitalist slavery comes in many forms, from physical slavery with chains and locks to financial with debts and loans. Another method of capitalist control, less mentioned it, but still instrumental, is their continued oppression of the working class, is the slavery of consumption. These dirty luxuries of pornography, gambling, drink, and drugs have made the working man docile and easily controllable. Unwilling to rebel, even if it means that his illusionary prosperity will be disrupted or his addictions cut off. It is for this reason that these vices must be eliminated. To compete with the uh, social revolution uh, and completely uh, free the working class from their chains. In fact, immediately all bars will be closed and transformed into workers' clubs. All non-industrial alcohol law will be seized and destroyed. Only wholesome and revolutionary workers' culture will be permitted to exist in these places. Then following, drug dens and brothels will be similarly closed and clientele arrested. There will be no tolerance for any resistance. So you need 100 political power, which is quite a bit. The communal act. Let's go then for the non-discrimination act. The Genesis tier progress plus one. So does plus one make it increase or make it decrease? I think it decreases. Hey, okay. We need 50 political power still, but we will. I mean, actually, the penalty's not that bad. <laughs> it's, it's not that bad at all. Okay, so red army, we're going to move you to be as so. What if you do something like this? You guys are going to move your way here. Red Army, you're going to be moving your way down in this direction. This is going to be the hardest fight we've had in our lives. I mean, that's okay. I'm ready for it. Progress has to go down. Abolish sin. Incite revolt. We need 50 points. Well, we'll get there eventually. Take industry level 4 next. Thank you. Main day worker overtime. What what do you do for us? Factor opposed. Eh, I don't really. I mean, the thing is, we have so much shit. This is a lot of garbage we have. We don't really need to. Oh, that's the declare war on us. That that makes my life way simpler then. Well, you don't actually delete both these lines. Let's just have a field marshal order. 
I don't use Field Marshal Orders that often. Yeah, we'll have like something like this. And then you guys will just march in. Just fucking go for it, man. We have our inner field. We might as well deploy them immediately. I know they're not going to do like that much, but... Better to have them than to not have them. How many units do they have? They've won the vision here. Enemy air sword is minus 0.1, which is honestly like, you know, no nothing essentially. Okay, improved artillery. We'll go for 37 artillery on you. Then we can upgrade our artillery on this one. Excellent. We got a lot of tanks as well. How are you guys doing? How are you doing? Grand offensive. I mean, this maybe would be the one time we want to take that 10% uh, attack, but it's only for a month. Which honestly is like, it's, it's not that good. Right? It's it's not that impressive. As as a shame as shameful as it is to say, it's it's not really anything. Okay, we have more Dixie troops here. We got supply hub in Acadia, we got supply hub in Boomtown. 200 defense, huh? Base value 165. Okay, let's move you back to normal battle plan for now. The free states have collapsed. Question, do I deploy more units here? I think the answer is yes. Let's deploy our weird mutant dogs, first and foremost. Get those guys going. We'll deploy you in the red army, move your way in. It will cost us more points for our um, hide from the giants. But it's not so bad. It's not so bad. But I think at least right now is a really good time for us to end this episode. So if you enjoyed, my thumbs up. If you're not enjoying, close them down. If you want to see more, subscribe and goodbye.